married to a man should be aspiring to is marrying a good woman and children with that good woman building a family with that good woman being part of a community with that good woman and her children and building the institutions of society that actually make society flourish and function and i understand that he is reacting to a thing i think the thing he's reacting to is bad i don't think that his reaction to the thing is correct or decent or good from my perspective of having a conversation with him, I feel like he's very a very, very powerful man that's driven in his thoughts, but he's actually very humble enough to take criticism or a different approach of thinking. So I think that if you guys would put down your swords, you guys could probably get away with like having a great conversation where both of you guys take something away from each other. I think what happens is, like we were talking about, the ego blows, right? You're sitting back and you're like, I'm not going to sit here and watch you tell men that they have to have 100 girls around them. But he's also looking at the West really feminizing men to a point where he's like, all right, I'm going to push back even more than I should so I can make a point, if that makes any sense. And I mean, it, so again, I, I think that I agree very often with the critique and I really disagree with the prescription. I think he's That's doing it. it for a shock factor to get more people to hear the least the first message. Right. And, and I think that that's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, that- You don't need to do that, so why does he? Correct. Got it. And, okay. and neither does Jordan Peterson and neither do a wide variety of other people who I think are, are useful for young men. I think that there are a number of young men who are being driven into despair and apathy by the idea that, for example, women are oppositional and ought to be approached in that, in that way, uh, as opposed to, let's find a prescription for how you can like how about this if you it, like i agree with his critique by the way that for example if you want to be attracted to women you have to be more of a man okay but me being more of a man also includes things like religious commitment in the context of a church and then you have to find a woman to have values with and you shouldn't be impregnating 10 women at a time which is something that he has said right mm -hmm. and, and it's it's it, you know it, to me the least masculine thing or one of the least masculine things you can do is drop your seat everywhere and then not have relationships with your children in the way that I think a good man has relationships with, with his children. It's, uh, I, I think that's a bad model of masculinity. If, if he's doing that for shock value, he should say he's doing it for shock value and then he should stop doing it for shock value because people take him seriously and he has a huge platform. And again, that doesn't mean that all of the critiques of him are right. In fact, I think a huge number of the critiques of him are wrong. If you go back and you look at my evolution on Tate, uh, you'll see I did a video about him maybe three years ago, in which I was much more laudatory of many of the things he was saying about feminism. And then as he became more and more caricature of himself, I became a lot less forgiving of the caricature. Uh, so, you know, uh, do I think that it is, is a positive thing for the world that, that his version of masculinity is hit things hard, you know, walk around, you know, without a shirt, with a, with a cigar in your mouth, being, you know, egoistic about your attraction to various models. Like, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not masculine. It's not good masculine. It does not make good men. It makes, he's, it, makes, it makes bad men. Now, would I rather that there be men than no men? Sure. Would I rather be good men than just men? Absolutely. Because all men have the same, t same temptations. I mean, this is something that all religion teaches. We all have the same temptations, right? We all want money, we all want women, we all, want, like, we all want the same thing. But the whole point of religion and religious institutions and morality is to hem that into a context where it is useful and so you're using it for the natural good. And so anything that, that sort of explodes those things and treats them as though they are hallmarks of a distant past that, that ought to be dispensed with, I think that that's teaching men precisely the wrong lesson. Right now, men don't need to have revenge on women. Right now, men need to find a good woman, and then they need to settle down with that good woman. And anything that forwards that is good, and anything that inhibits that is bad. I think it's a very fair opinion. You know, I can see exactly where your viewpoint is, where it lies, and how you feel about him. I think that was really fair. Um, when talking about debates and, uh, you know, making an impact on the person you're speaking with, is there a time that you can recall a debate or an interview where you feel like you walked away from it being like, wow, I really feel like they understood where I came from and I made a difference? I mean, I think that, that happens actually very frequently. Uh, very often, those conversations sort of happen offline as opposed to in all the conversation. And th there's sort of debates where you're talking to somebody who is famous. It's, it's more frequent there where somebody will, will you know say oh that's a good point and move on once people are famous then they sort of have a stake in being who they are it's their audience exactly they're very to they're say. selling themselves to like i know a lot of people are upset that i'm taking this route but i can't short myself from learning and inviting these guests on and learning so if my audience chooses to walk away because i want to learn that's on their that's their decision i can never force them to listen but i'm not going to short myself by pleasing my audience i think my audience is proud of me because i stood up for what i believe in and i want to learn and i don't 
know what's up. But I want to circle back to college because you made it very clear that they are ruining critical thinking. They are 